Hello and welcome to Nextplay. My name is Ryan and I'll be showing you how to add a playlist of memories to your Nextplay frame. Here we assume that you have already created your Nextplay account and paired your frame to the Nextplay cloud. After logging in with your new credentials on nextplay.com, you'll land on the welcome page where all your options are shown. Some noteworthy points. Number one, your activity counters showing how many photos, frames, playlists, and friends are connected to your Nextplay account. Secondly is your email address. Using this email address, you can email photos directly to your frame or share this email address with friends to get photos from them. If you haven't done so already, we'd strongly recommend downloading the mobile Nextplay app from the App Store or from Google Play. This enables you to share memories directly from your phone to the frame from wherever you are. Also noteworthy is the Nextplay Rewards Scheme, which is a joint referral and rewards program for all Nextplay customers who purchase from Nextplay.com. With the My Nextplay Rewards program, you are eligible to earn points each time a referred friend or family member purchases a Nextplay frame from Nextplay.com. Be sure to take a look. Let's start with adding photos to your frame. First, go to Photos. Here you will see three options, playlists, albums, and social media. We'll start with playlists. Worth noting is that we have already created a default playlist for you called My Playlist. You can jump right into this playlist now and add content. For the purposes of this exercise, let's create a new playlist. Select Create a Playlist. You'll be able to choose between creating a standard playlist or a dynamic playlist. A standard playlist gives you full curation control. You can add and order all photos manually. A dynamic playlist is a live connection with Dropbox in this instance. This means that your next play frame will always show your most recent Dropbox photos. All you need to do is make a one-time authorization. Let's start with the standard playlist. Hit Create a Standard Playlist, give your playlist a name, and hit OK. You are immediately taken to a blank screen from which you can add content. Select Add Photos from the top right. For this exercise, we'll select to add photos from my computer. Locate the photos from your computer that you want to display and hit open. Photos will then begin to upload. Worth noting here is that you can upload a maximum of 100 photos per session, but you can have multiple sessions. Each playlist can have a maximum of 1,000 photos, but you can have as many photo playlists as you like. Once your photos are uploaded, you will see the thumbnails appear in your playlist. This is the order that they will appear on your frame. You can change the order using a simple drag and drop technique. By clicking on any thumbnail, you are able to zoom into the full picture. You are also able to delete any photo from the playlist by hitting the recycle bin, which appears in the top right of each thumbnail as you hover over it. Your playlist is now ready to be sent to your frame. Hit the X in the top right corner. You will now see your playlist in the playlist section. To add it to your frame, simply drag and drop it. Remember to hit publish. This is a very important step. Congratulations. You have now successfully created a standard Nextplay playlist. Now let's take a look at how to create a dynamic playlist with Dropbox. We're still in Photos and we'll select Create a Playlist again. This time, hit Create a Dynamic Playlist. You'll now be prompted to create and make a connection with your Dropbox account, which I had done earlier. Hit Allow and make a selection of the folder you'd like to share. 
every time you add photos to this folder in Dropbox, it will sync and update on your NetPlay frame. Hit Finish. Remember that now you have to add your newly created dynamic playlist to your frame. Here it is. Simply use a drag and drop technique. And remember to hit Publish to ensure that it appears on your frame. It's worth mentioning that a dynamic playlist with Google Photos is also possible, but this can only be set up when using the NextPlay mobile app.